with China, ladies and gentlemen. Amid the tussle at the line of actual control, India and China are holding the 19th round of core commander level talks today. The talks are being held at the Chushul Moldo meeting point in eastern Ladakh. And the talks uh, aim to resolve the ongoing military standoff between the two countries that has lasted for over three years now. This comes just a week before the BRICS leaders summit in South Africa, where Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be face to face with Chinese President Xi Jinping. Now let's get you an overview of the sticking points when it comes to the entire LAC dispute, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to the standoff that, as I was saying, has been, has been going on for over three years now, but the score commander level talks are currently underway. Now, what we are learning is that when it comes to the entire dispute at the LAC, there continue to be sticking points, which is why they are so adversarial, the entire standoff between the two sides, uh, China and India. And what we are learning is that when it comes to the thorns in the LAC dispute, the depth song area in northern Ladakh. It's a tabletop plateau at 16,000 feet altitude. This is one of those flashpoints at the LAC. Uh, PLA is actively blocking Indian soldiers, uh, their patrols in the Depsang area in northern Ladakh. So that's what we are learning uh, when it comes to Depsang. But if you, there is also Demchok, ladies and gentlemen, in eastern Ladakh. Indian and PLA troops engaged in a standoff there. That, that standoff has been going on for over three years now. And these are the sticking points in the entire LAC. And Demchok is one of them where the PLA is blocking access to patrolling points, blocking the Indian troops when it comes to uh, patrolling those areas in eastern Ladakh, Demchok being one of those other uh, flashpoints. Now, what we are, I'm joined by KP Fabian, a former diplomat on the broadcast. Mr. Fabian, thank you for joining us on CNN News 18. You see that these flashpoints continue. It's been over three years that the LAC remains a hot zone between India and China. What do you expect from the core commander level talks, which have not seen much breakthrough between the two sides? Well, I do not wish to predict what will happen during these important talks. But I just want to make the point that uh, when there is a multilateral meeting between uh, the Prime Minister of India and the President of China, then China seems to be very keen to enter into talks and resolve the dispute. Uh, you might remember what happened in Auckland in uh, 2017. The Indian Prime Minister was uh, supposed to be going for a very important uh, meeting in China, and I believe it was big. And uh, there was also, <clears throat> at that time, uh, President Xi Jinping's re-election was coming up. So the Chinese were very keen that we should talk. And an agreement was made on Dokkan. That was in 2017, as I said. But uh, we should bear in mind that subsequently China failed to honor that agreement in full. So while I welcome and I hope that serious progress will be made in the ongoing talks now. Uh, taking into account this Chinese uh, preference for entering into serious talks only when a certain uh, multilateral event is supposed to be taking place, well, let us do talk, but let us sort of take it also with a pinch of salt. Right. But Mr. Fabian, when it comes to, uh, you know, all the Chinese antics beyond the LAC with PLA troops blocking Indian troops at particular patrol points, of course, the LAC is not well defined, which is why China feels that it can push its troops into different areas. But beyond that, from, uh, you know, stapling of visas when it comes to athletes from Arunachal Pradesh to, uh, to renaming areas in Arunachal Pradesh, what is the end game over here when it comes to China's strategy, uh, given that region? Well, uh... The end game, as far as uh, one can make out, uh, seems to be that uh, uh, it may not be in China's interest to find a permanent solution to the border problem with India, 
it may be in China's interest to keep this matter boiling from time to time. And uh, what China wants is, uh, you know, not a multipolar Asia, but a unipolar Asia, mm-hmm. which is led by China. And China correctly understands that India stands in the way. And therefore, India has to be tackled. Right. I think we leave it at that. Thank you, Mr. Fabian, for joining us on the broadcast and decoding the game plan of the Chinese when it comes to keeping the LAC a hot zone. But as the core commander level talks continue uh, between the two sides, the hope is that there will be some kind of breakthrough given those two flashpoints of Demchok at Depsang that we were talking about. We're going to take a quick break. More news and updates.